high temperatures aren't gone yet, so there's still time to enjoy the pool, but be sure to keep your kids safe while doing it. Tucson Fire Captain Barrett Baker reminds us about the ABCs of drowning prevention. Now school's back in session and that means that most kids are out of the water. But when it comes to the little ones, water is deadly 365 days a year. And August is National Drowning Impact Awareness Month to prevent this type of tragedy. So this week, we're gonna cover the ABCs of drowning prevention. A, active adult supervision, the first and most critical step. Active is the key word here. Being in the same area doesn't cut it if you're not paying attention because drowning is the silent killer. Games, phones, or anything else that is distracting you from the pool has to go. Being a designated child watcher is the most important job you will ever have, so please take it seriously. B, barriers. Make sure that the, all the gates in the isolation fence are self-closing and self-latching, and never, repeat that, never prop open the gate. Now, most kids love to climb. So chairs, tables, ice chests, large toys, or other objects can provide a way for kids to get in the gated pool. Make sure those things are kept away from the fence so they can't be used to climb on and over. C, classes. CPR for you and swim lessons for your kids. Learn how to perform CPR. It takes several minutes for our crews to get to you, and performing CPR during that time can be the difference in having another birthday or a tragedy. And swim lessons are crucial for our kids. The sooner the kids learn how to swim, the less likely they are to drown. Oh, boom! Now, pool safety is a slam dunk if you remember the ABCs. So remember the little things. And from these little monkeys, woo, 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 swim safely! <laughs>